road, you're burning fossil fuels, you're killing the kill you're killing you're killing a cow. But well, I don't know, I mean like I say, force on the postcard please. Ah. And it may have gone ahead, I haven't been able to watch the news for a long time because it depresses me and makes me cry. Is this, if you live in the countryside, subsidised petrol? I mean, how in the countryside do you have to live? I mean, if I position the camera correctly you can see that the, although class as a village that I live in, it has a co-op, a large Sainsbury's, a large Tesco's, both below and petrol stations. Uh, a Texaco station. Even, I believe it has a community college somewhere, which is part of the university that's up the way a little bit. But, it's still classed as a village. Does that mean I'm, I'm living in the countryside or, or not? And this subsidised spectrum. People who are living in slightly built up areas, does that mean, like, to get around it, the companies are going to put the, that petrol price up more. Because as much as I love cheaper petrol and such, um, I don't particularly want to have to see off other people. I mean, it's a little bit mean. And people say petrol is expensive and yes, yes it is, it's very expensive and the fact that I have to pay so much in petrol is my own fault, I, I ride a, an SP1 which is anyone that knows anything about bikes, it's a V-twin and if I so ask her to I can empty my 18 litre petrol tank in 78 miles which I went to work out the other day and my A-level in maths let me down, which uh, was two years at college well spent, if you ask me. An A-level in maths that, uh, as soon as you go to do maths, doesn't work. So yeah, I, 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 I can't really complain too much about that, it was my choice to own this bike. And uh, I'm very happy I own this bike, and as I say, I'll pay a little bit more petrol and enjoy it. It's like these people at home. It's your choice to own that car. I mean, yeah, you, you might have three kids. My, my dad had, my parents had three kids, and we all clambered into his Fox uh, Astro estate. And we're quite happy. Yeah. So, the uh, rule on pulling out and not disrupting other vehicles from making them have to slow down doesn't apply to you, does it not? Really don't want to be behind this person anymore, he's all over the show. Why are you everywhere? Ah, you got one brake light working. Yeah, great.
different on the whole petrol thing and trying to save the world that I was rambling on about what to me seems like a while ago. Ha! Ah, is uh I live about a mile away from work, so I'm quite happy to walk to where I work. So biggie. I walk in all sorts of weathers. Whether it be raining, snowing, thunder and lightning, a lot of it. But my brother who lives about I think he said it's about 20 miles from where he works. His company have basically told him that at least half the week he has to ride into work. A push bike that is. Which is 20 miles, 40 miles is a round trip. And uh, like me, he lives in the middle of bumps up nowhere. Where there's no street lamps, no cycle paths, no nothing, and uh, it's just a little bit dangerous, because I've always been taking off this thing riding around there, and uh, I'm a lot bigger and a lot noisier than a skinny bloke on a push bike. Driving along here in a 60 at 47, giving set off for your uh, speedo, what about 45, 45 now, so about, get, call it an all, even 40. If I was coming around, if me or any other car was coming around here at 60, around a blind corner, or like this corner for instance, every car on the road can take this corner at 60. They can go smashing straight to the back of it. Well, they would if this, uh, speed limit change wasn't there. Wasn't exactly the best corner to choose, was it? Everyone likes trains. 